With the midterm elections just over three weeks away, a cruel reminder that the right of half the population to legally control their own bodies and reproduction is on the ballot. BuzzFeed reports that a middle school-aged incest victim in Florida was unable to obtain an abortion there because she was beyond the state's 15-week limit. The child had to travel at least two, three states away to terminate the pregnancy, according to Planned Parenthood, as neighboring states have almost or completely banned abortion. A reminder, in April, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed into law the 15-week ban, which forced the child to travel out of state to seek medical care. The law in the not-so-free state of Florida makes no exceptions for cases of rape, incest, or human trafficking. A brand new digital ad from Congressman Eric Swalwell, debuting right here on The Readout, presents one possible chilling outcome of our post-Roe future. You're weird. He is weird, but cute. Gross. Mary Anderson? Yes? I have a warrant for your arrest. Arrest for what? Penal Code 243 violation. Unlawful termination of a pregnancy. You gotta be kidding me. That That is my personal business. That's for the courts to decide, ma'am. Your medical records have been subpoenaed, and Dr. Landry's already in custody. No, my, my God, you, you, you can't just... You will have to submit to a physical examination. What? By who? No, no, no one's touching me. Oh, sir, sir, get that. Man, turn around. Oh my God. Put oh my God. your hands behind your back. Now. Why is this happening? Love you. Hey there. We're just enforcing the law here. Elections have consequences. Vote Democrat on November 8th. Stop Republicans from criminalizing abortion everywhere. Protect women's rights and freedom. Please don't do this. Please. Under his eye. Joining me now is Congressman Eric Swalwell, the Democrat from California behind that new ad. And Congressman, it's a chilling ad. This is only the second time I've watched it, and it's, it's, it makes my heart race every time I watch it. Uh, tell me about the origins of this ad and why you think it's important to run something like this in this election cycle. Yeah, uh, thank you, Joy. It, it is chilling. And as a former prosecutor, when I looked at the Republicans' abortion laws, you know, criminalizing abortion, mandating pregnancy, I thought through, well, what is this going to look like as it plays out across America? And it's that scene right there. Uh, it, because, you know, many families who, you know, make this decision are, are in fact families. You know, they already uh, have uh, children, and I wanted that to be a part of the narrative. Uh, but also, you know, the husband stepping in. Is any partner, husband, spouse, boyfriend would do if the police were trying to take away uh, their spouse uh, because of a new abortion law? And, and also the police. I wanted it to be clear that no police officer wants to be in this position. And for the officer to say, man, we're, ju we're, we're just doing our job, that's the horrible position we're going to put law enforcement in. I wish this was an exaggeration, but this is going to be the new reality in MAGA America if we do not win the midterms in both the House and the Senate. You know, and the thing about it is, you know, we already, when we talk about police reform, part of the issue is over-policing, right? Police are being asked to come in and police things like somebody's tag that's weird on their car, that they don't, that, that isn't correct on their car, or, you know, things that have really nothing to do with, you know, serious law-breaking, and so they're constantly in the community, and this mainly pertains to people of color, but if now women are in that same position. I just want to give you some examples here. Uh, in Texas, this is now, this is before Republicans get full control, um, text and web searches about abortion have already been used to prosecute women. In Texas, the district attorney has dropped a case against a woman who was initially charged with murder for a self-induced abortion. Nebraska police used Facebook messages to investigate an alleged illegal abortion. Uh, Bloomberg reports that in a post-war world, more miscarriages and stillbirth prosecutions await women. And right now in the state of Florida, Schools are asking student athletes to report their menstrual histories. They're doing this to try to stop 
trans girls from playing sports. But that means that the school, meaning the government, the local government, will have information on teenagers' menstrual cycles in, cycles in the state of Florida. As somebody who's a former prosecutor, talk about that a little more. Dig a little more into the, the position that puts police in, where they're essentially having to accost women and teenage girls, and the position that it puts the family members and these teenagers and women in. And, and I'll talk about it even more personal terms. My two brothers are patrol police officers. My father was a police officer, and most police officers in America, I, I really believe, want to go after violent crime. They don't want politicians and the government telling them that you now have to go knock on the door of a family and haul away uh, someone who made this very personal decision. And by the way, Joy, we are a country that has chosen unwisely to arm most Americans to the teeth. So imagine the combustible environment we have with police officers going door to door to take women who make this decision and knowing that we have so many firearms in America. This is not safe for police officers. It's certainly unfair uh, for women who make this decision. And it, in a MAGA-controlled House and Senate, could be the new reality, not just in Arizona and Texas and Florida, but every state in the union. Yeah, and, 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 I, and I was talking about over-policing. You know, they're already over-policing things like somebody smoking weed or selling Lucy cigarettes. Now you're saying police now have to, you know, essentially go after women for getting their own health care and anyone who helps them, Uber drivers, husbands, et cetera. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about some of the states where they're really pushing this. Michigan, a political headline. Michigan could soon become Texas. There's actually a ballot initiative on the ballot right now that would put the right to abortion into the state constitution. The law that it would repeal was written in 1931. Women barely had the right to vote in this country. What do you make of this aggression in red states to go back to, in some cases, 19th century law or early 20th century law? Well, I think it's also clear, Joy, that it's not about, quote, life. It's about control. It's about controlling women, and it's also about controlling families, because we saw over the weekend uh, that one uh, Senate candidate said that, uh, of course, we should go after uh, IVF as well. Uh, you know, it's not just that they don't want women to make this decision. They want you to make the decision in the way that they would make it themselves and completely take family planning away from every, every family in America. And we know that this is what they're going to do because Doug Mastriano, who is running for governor in Pennsylvania, said that he believes it would be murder. We see other candidates across the country saying the same thing. And so abortion's on the ballot. It's on the ballot in California, Proposition 1, uh, to codify it, also in Michigan. And my hope is that it brings out men and women up and down uh, the ballot uh, to make sure that this reproductive right is protected. Uh, Marjorie Taylor, I'm not sure if she's still got the green, I know she's divorcing the green part of her name, um, has said that she would have to get power if, Kev if Kevin McCarthy becomes speaker. You know Kevin McCarthy. Do you, is there any chance that he would be able to resist a demand from the MAGA and the QAnon part of his caucus, which let's just face it is the majority of his caucus, that he, to, put a to put a national abortion ban on the floor? Would he have this, the, the moral strength sure or the political strength to resist doing that. Kevin McCarthy is a vessel state to the MAGA nation. He will go exactly where they take him. We can't count on him one bit uh, to be a guardrail for women's reproductive rights. Congressman Eric Swalwell, man, thank you very much. I really appreciate you being here tonight. Thank you for uplifting this uh, it's pretty scary issue. Thank you. All right, cheers. All right.